Hello, and welcome to the new Trackify. Here on the welcome screen of Trackify, I will walk you how to quickly do the three-step setup, which is very simple and straightforward to do. And then I'll show you what else you can do and where to go next and get the best and the most out of Trackify. First, let's look at the top section with Facebook profile. So what that does is logging in with a Facebook profile gives you access to the enhanced features of Trackify. It protects your account, it lets you access your Facebook assets through Trackify and manage everything from here. So let's go ahead and do this. Let me log in with Facebook. All right, so here we are back and logged in. We are still on the welcome page. So now you can select an ad account. From an ad account, it allows you to select the pixel from the drop down. So select your pixel and add pixel button. Once the pixel is successfully added, step one will turn green. Now step two will pop up. So step two is our ninja script and this goes into the checkout settings in Shopify. To do this, click copy and then click on checkout settings and it will take you to your checkout settings. Now, once you're here, scroll down and you'll see the two boxes under additional scripts paste the script in the order status box and if you have any other scripts paste the script in the beginning this is the part one of the step two now let's make sure that you have removed all other tracking scripts and disconnect the existing pixels we are doing this so trackify and shopify pixel integration don't interfere with each other and don't step on each other's toes in order to do that so go to your Shopify dashboard, click on the sales channel and select Facebook and Instagram. Now click on settings and you will see another setup screen having different options. Now scroll down to the data share option and click on the change tab and turn all the data sharing This will then disconnect your pixel. In order to do this, you must be logged in with Facebook. In case if you get a pop-up asking you to log in with Facebook, please do that. Then you would be able to turn off the data sharing. Now our step two is complete and we will move on to step three, which is optional and not mandatory. Step three does connect your Shopify products with a catalog in Facebook. So it's a very simple thing to do. If you are the admin of the business manager that you use to store your catalog, simply name your catalog and select the business manager inside of business manager. Here we are going to select the pixel and the pixel should be normal. It should be the same, which one, which you set up in step one. The fourth field here, select a general category of the product you are selling products under let's say you're selling shirts or t-shirts just type in shirts and select the category now simply hit save and build catalog and now you are done now next there are some very cool getting started frequently asked questions that will help you overcome certain obstacles that people frequently run into for example why can't i see my ad account or pixels in the drop down Click on it and you'll see the answer and follow the instructions. This is very useful. You can just run through all the frequently asked questions as these tend to come up the most from what we've seen. Also have an in-app chat support. And if you have any question, click on the green bubble at the bottom right of the screen and one of our support agents will be there to help you. Now, the next thing you wanna do is probably head to the Pixel Engine page. And look around here if you want to add another pixel as maybe a backup pixel or you simply want to go here and click on an add pixel from add account you can also access the videos by clicking on the tutor hat icon at the top right we have helping videos on almost every page of trackify so you can learn a lot about the different features in trackify and how to go about them